this is the No Purchase Challenge, and today we are going to be playing it across 12 years of Zombies maps. Starting from Origins and Black Ops 2, where it began, and heading all the way down to Terminus and Liberty Falls in Black Ops 6. The rules are simple, I can't buy anything but doors or else I fail the challenge. Our goal is to make it to round 20 on every map, and I'll be checking in between games to give some updates on how we're doing. Let's get into it. Origins. This is where it all began to my knowledge. This is where people started doing no purchase challenges in zombies. You know, before Origins, you couldn't really do one. Like, you can't really do one on Kino because you can't get a free gun anyway. So, unfortunately, we cannot buy Quick Revive, which is such, such, such a shame. We can, however, kill some zombies, get some points, buy some doors. Hope we get something good for free. That would be the dream. Now, of course, anyone who has played Origins knows I'm going to be relying on dig sites. We're going to go ahead and grab the shield part here because shields don't cost any money and neither do staves. I'm sorry, uh, in case any of you guys are like nerds and you actually care. The plural of staff is staves, not staffs, which I know is really weird. So, uh, you know, I didn't make the English language, so uh, don't blame that on me. I guess one neat thing about not having to buy anything is that, I mean, I've just, you know, I'm in no man's land on round two, just hanging out. I hear a nuke. Do I want a nuke? I don't know. I guess so. Just realized that I actually technically bought the first generator, which like ruins the challenge. But honestly, I'm not going to count it. That generator doesn't actually do anything for me. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter, right? Here's our second shield piece. I'm not really sure that I'm going to try and fill the boxes, to be honest. Ooh, that's what we need. All right, let's go ahead and build our shield. It's going to be pretty much our only line of defense. I don't get jug, I don't get quick revive. So, basically, all I'm going to be doing is just running around and trying to look for dig sites so I can keep on getting ammo back. As long as I don't die. Like I said, the biggest problem is probably just going to be ammo. Obviously, I should probably start trying to build a staff. I can't build the lightning staff because I'd have to buy the tank. I can build the wind staff. I can do ice and I cannot do fire because on fire you need the, you have to turn on the generators for fire so I can't do fire. I can also do, of course, the challenges. I can do the headshots. I can't do the generators. I can't do 30k points. But unless I'm crazy, I believe the 115 headshots one is the one that actually gives you the free gun, which is pretty important. Honestly, I say we probably go for the wind staff because if I want to get the ice staff, I have to sacrifice three of my dig spots and I kind of need my dig spots to try and get ammo back and stuff. Although this ballista is probably a two shot now, right? Yeah, we're not going to heads off. Definitely gonna hope we get that golden shovel soon. I got the zombie blood. I'm actually just gonna take the zombie blood and come down to the church and just start digging just so I can hit whatever dig spots are over here. Oh, we got some more ballista ammo. See, it's worth it to come to come dig around, you know? As long as you don't die. You no, know, I, I might die, so. Maybe it wasn't worth it. Oh, okay, there we go. We got a guy here. Which foot, which foot's it gonna be? Um, is it this one? Oh, I just missed a dig spot, I think. Okay, it's the close one. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to be very careful with this. I have a bolt action gun. I can't just spray down into the foot to open it. Okay, better not miss. Got it. Okay. It would actually be so awful if I missed because that would completely end like my whole run. Man, this is like the fifth ballista I've gotten. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's ammo. It's keeping me alive. But I don't think I'm going to take that, to be honest with you guys. I don't think I'm going to take that. Oh, look here. We got another one. We got another one. Okay. Which foot are you going to be? Okay. Yep. It's that one. All right. We got, I think I just opened it right there. Actually, I should probably shoot it just in case, but like, yeah. Okay. I got it. That's two parts. We're also halfway to our headshot goal. I'm pretty sure that the 115 headshots is the free gun. I really, really, really hope so, because if it's the free max ammo, I that's not that's not good. You know what? I need the wind disc. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. I was just about to say, I actually have no idea where the wind disc is, and it was gonna take me a while to find it. There he is, there's my guy. Wait, is neither foot open? Oh no, it's that one. Okay, it's that one. Alright. Alright, come on. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, sweet. Just, just gotta take it slow, nice and easy. Third part. Ow, that white screen is bright. Am I actually gonna get a win staff on round six on my no purchase challenge? This is like low key kind of clutch. Where's the gramophone? Oh, there it is. It's been, it's been a, it's been a minute since I've played Origins. I always hated this part because you just have to stand here and wait for like five minutes for the stairs to open. I don't know. I mean, you can just jump through it actually. I'm sliding around. Uh, 
Okay, that was weird. Well, in Black Ops 3, you can just jump through it and you can just clip through the stairs and just like <laughs> go down instantly. I guess not in this one. I've also never understood what this is. This like floating light that always there. It's always there for me. I think this is the wind tunnel, right? I don't actually know. I think it's this one. It's got to be, right? Are you serious? I didn't pick up the gramophone. Bruh. All right, please don't kill me. <laughs> There, now we got it. I hate, <laughs> that's like one of the worst things I hate so much about Origins. Having to pick up the gramophone and carry it around and then make sure you go back and pick it up. God forbid you're playing co-op and then someone puts it down and doesn't pick it back up. Then nobody knows where it is. And there's just like a million reasons why it sucks. But we got our, uh, our little thing. We're going to try and not kill this guy because I don't trust myself to build this staff before i die wind staff i don't usually get this one that much but i mean it's basically a thunder gun right so we need to get ready for the panzer round i'm gonna be super super totally honest with you guys i have no freaking idea if there is a way to get free perks on origin i know you can get extra perk slots but can you get just straight up free perks i have no idea i'm sure I know you can get like ray guns with, oh, whoa, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah, you can tell I don't use this very often. I don't, I'm just assuming maybe, maybe the golden shovel has some special things you can get that I don't know about. I know you can get a ray gun, you can get a mark two. Those are awesome. Obviously those would be ideal. Golden helmet would not hurt, of course. Okay, everybody back up. Back Samo. All right, let's just spam this thing. It is going to kind of suck to have this and not have speed cola though. Speed cola is so amazingly essential for the staves. Staves. Sorry. Sorry. Staves. All right. This is a very dangerous idea, but we're going to start running back here to grab some more of these dig sites in the spawn. It's dangerous because, you know, there's a lot of zombies here and it's a very tight corridors and stuff. If I'm going to die anywhere, it's going to be here. Also round eight. Where's the panzer? Am I stupid? I'm gonna say that he's gonna come out of nowhere and just obliterate me my screen is shaking so he must be near okay i just didn't i just didn't hear him spawn in i guess okay all right i have no idea if the wind staff is good against this guy but uh i really really freaking hope so because if it's not we are gonna have a little tiny problem all right dude all right dude all right oh 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 wait oh oh i killed him i killed him i killed him oh crap there's a grenade okay i saw an insta kill right there Oh, nope, nope, nope. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay, just, just shoot, just shoot. Use the ammo. I don't care. We did it. We beat round eight. That, I clenched my stomach a lot. That kind of hurt. Oh, I gotta be close to the golden, the golden shovel, right? I don't know how many, how many it is, but like, it's, it's like, what, like 30 or 18? I don't remember. I've hit a lot. Okay, I've hit a lot. Running around the map, like min-maxing my dig spots. I just realized I can actually, I can build the Maxis drone. I didn't think about that. Maybe I should do that. I'm pretty sure I can hold a Maxis drone at the same time as my shield, right? Ooh, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. This is scary. Literally just getting hit one time means like sudden death. I considered doing this on Black Ops 3 because it would be way easier. But I thought, you know what? No. Oh, I got the shovel. I got the shovel. No, I, I figured this is better. This is a this is a challenge. It's a good challenge. It's a challenge video, right? So it should be a challenge. There's our brain. That's our last part. I'm hoping that the golden shovel will give me some sort of assault rifle or SMG because I currently I have a shotgun. I'm not getting any headshots with the shotgun and the shotgun is kind of kind of sucking. I'm not going to lie. End around. All right, let's go ahead. Let's build our Maxis drone. If I'm not mistaken. Is there there's a, there's an Easter egg you can do with this, right? You can get like a free MG08, right? I wonder if I should if I should do that. I'm pretty sure. There's a coin right up here, right? Yeah, it's right there. I'll grab that. Oh, I almost died doing that. Uh -oh. Ice staff part, okay. You know, I'm not gonna use the ice staff right now, but I guess it's good to have because it's a backup if we need more ammo. Did he pick up the coin? I have no idea, he just started shooting. I need to be a little bit more careful. I'm starting to run out of ammo. Okay, yeah, he must have picked up the coin because it's gone. I'm gonna be honest though, I only know where like two of the coins are, so I might have to I might have to pull up a, a good old a good old no nonsense guide for this one. I mean, he's just shooting his ass off over there. I mean, he must be getting kills, I guess. Okay, he said returning to charging station. Does that mean I have to like wait, or can I just go like grab him from the table again? I'm not sure. Uh, uh it's not cool down. Maybe I have to like wait around. All right, I'm noticing a mistake I made. I took all the dig spots, which means I don't have any dig spots left to get my eye staff part. Got this one lone zombie here. Oh, oh, it's done. Hold up. Okay. Snow round's over, unfortunately, but 
We can come over here. There's a, a key token in there, right? We got that one. Oh, you're just gonna can't pick up the token, please. Dude, I'm backed in the corner, dude. I'm backed in the corner, dude. Please. Okay, did he even get this? I don't know. I mean, he better have gotten the token. I just stood in that corner and risked my- No! <laughs> I got stuck. Fun, golden shovel. Please give me something. I think I just need to, like, go and stand by the part the places where he needs to pick it up, I guess. Oh, he grabbed that one. He had a voice line. Okay. Hey, dude. Come over here. Here's the last one, I think. I think he despawned. Dang it. Okay. We're gonna have to wait, I guess, another round till I can get this one. I didn't see him pick up that one at uh, Gen 2. I'm really hoping he did, so I don't have to go back there and, and try and figure that out. Actually, maybe I should go look for my last ice staff piece. That's probably a good idea. Oh, there's one dig spot here. Okay. He's have ice staff for it. No. All right, I guess that means we're not getting the ice staff. That was my last spot. I wonder if those Templar guys are going to come steal my one generator I accidentally turned on. I guess I shouldn't be too upset. I'm pretty sure the base wind staff is probably better than the ice staff anyway. Next, drone, do your thing. Grab it. Grabbed it. Hey. Still though, I don't, I don't, I didn't see it pop up. So I'm going to assume he did not grab the, uh, okay, there's the hands. All right, we got to face this guy head on don't grab me if i get grabbed it's like instant game over okay there we go oh and he dropped a max max insta kill new did he just grab the drop for me he wasn't supposed to do that he's just grabbing drops for me all right come on max is drone uh, dude we gotta go really quick why are you going in there what the hell we gotta go we gotta we gotta get our part dude no dilly dally i'm gonna go back up into a corner right now yes i don't think he picked up this coin i don't know where it is so i can't see it but like did he just... Uh, no! He just said returning to charging station when I got in the corner. Dude, I could have gone so far in that challenge if only, if only he would have freaking listened to me. So after dying on round 14 on Origins, I was already a little demotivated. Origins is the perfect map for a no purchase challenge and I honestly just fumbled the bag. One down, seven to go, and all of them are gonna be even harder. It's definitely gonna be an uphill climb from here. All right, Black Ops 3. I'm just kidding, we're not doing Origins again. I will admit that would be very funny if, if I just went and did Origins again, but don't worry, we're not doing that. All right, so Black Ops 3, no purchase challenge. What we're gonna look at here, classic gobblegums only. I can only hit it once per round because otherwise it costs money. And however, I can use my tram fuse, but I can't even use points. Insta kill, it's round one, it's still not gonna help. So as you guys can also see, I went ahead and gone to offline mode, so I don't have my spawning RK5, just to make it a little bit more fair. So my strategy for Derizon Drac, I think I'm thinking we're gonna get the bows. Obviously, we're gonna build the shield too. If I remember how, I'm gonna be honest, it's been a while since I played this map. Ooh, that's free ammo. Okay, this one's pretty good because it's free ammo. All right, let's go ahead and start on our first dragon. This one shouldn't be too tough. It's round two. I'm gonna. This is just how I play DE naturally, so it's not even any different. I just, you know, don't have cook revive. And the one neat thing about Black Ops 3 is it's a three hit down, not a two hit down. So I technically have a little bit more leeway. Level points. I mean, it's not horrible, right? Because I have to buy doors. Oh, I'm red screen already. Thought this would be easier. Very wrong. Like, there's a bunch of runners, dude. Okay, okay, this one's done. That was kind of fast. I'm also thinking we're gonna use the Panzer Claws to kill the Panzer. That just sounds like a good idea because I have no guarantee that I'm actually going to have a bow by the time that, you know, comes. I don't remember. Is it round eight or is it 12 or I don't... I have no ammo. This door is 1500, but I don't want to pop my Gobblegum to get ammo back because that means... I get no points and I kind of want points. All right, there's power. I mean, I guess there's no real reason to do the pack a bunch pieces, but it's. All right, let's go ahead and start the next dragon. I see our last shield piece up there. Okay. There's only one zombie left, so it shouldn't be like too bad, but. Hey, there we go. We got it. Shield is extremely important. Basically, my only line of defense right now, so. Technically, it can kill zombies, but I'm going to be honest, if you've ever actually tried to use the shield to kill zombies, it's really dangerous and usually end up like getting killed from behind somehow. So it's not really worth it unless it's like your last option. 
All right, this is gonna be a little tough. I'm actually gonna have to like start training, dude. I was playing, I was playing Black Ops Six earlier today, and I think I I died on like round six to the, to the vermin. Actually, it was like such a such a shameful moment in my career. Felt like I was like seven years old again. Can't even make it past round six. One's done. All right, let's go do the last one. I think we have enough zombies. We should probably get the bow by the end of this round. That's that's pretty good. The biggest dilemma I'm thinking about right now is I can't go to the rocket pad because it costs like 500 points to teleport. And, uh, yeah, I can't spend points so well i don't know is the teleporter a door because i can buy doors that's how the challenge works you can only buy doors is the teleporter a door it kind of is a door the way i'm looking at it is like is it is it a door or is it fast travel like when i think of the wonder spheres i think those are fast travel but the teleporter itself i mean is it technically fast travel yes but it's like also the way you're supposed to get there so i don't know I'm, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do about that yet that was super easy we should be able to go get our bow now so there it is wrath of the ancients it's been a while since i used you and by this gate this is it's 500 points right yeah it is i don't know man does it count does it count does it not count? i don't know dude i don't know also got to decide what bow do i want to build i'm gonna be honest usually am i really 50 points off this bitch? Don't mind me. I just almost got my life taken from me. Oh, I do not want that. Usually, I end up getting the storm bow, but I think I want to do the wolf bow, which does involve me going to the rocket. So let's say it like this. So I can buy the teleporter to go to the rocket, but I cannot buy the wonder spheres. Let's 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 say that. I think that is is fair because, like I said, that's technically a door. Oh, we got that step done. Get this arrow, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I totally don't remember the steps. I want to say you have to go to the rocket pad, so let's let's do that, I guess. Really, ten points off. Oh yeah, I forgot there were hellhounds on this map. Okay, All right. um, I really hope I'm doing this right. I think you shoot the flag, right? Yeah. Okay, you do. Wait, what? There were only two hellhounds for the whole round? That's weird. Should I should I sit here and wait for the the rocket test so I can get the the parts? Maybe. Cause I I mean I guess I should get the Ragnaroks, right? There it is. Uh, no. <laughs> so DE started out pretty good actually, but I totally fumbled way too soon and failed the challenge. So let's move over to Shadows of Evil so I can redeem myself. All right, let's run it back again. All right, this fumigator here is going to be very important because it's how we're going to get our free stuff. Oh, there's free insta kill. So I technically can't do pack a punch. There's no real point to me doing all the rituals, I don't think. So I figure there's not really a pig point to beast mode. Actually, I have no idea what I'm doing here. What? What? <laughs> what did I do? I was just playing the game. I don't understand what happened. <laughs> so uh, unfortunately, I am really stupid and I paused my recording and forgot to unpause it. But uh, we're on round 13. I managed to get one purple pod with a bootlegger. So we have a bootlegger and we have a cuda so i've got a lot of different red pods around the map so i'm thinking we're gonna need to wait i guess just keep on waiting until they turn purple you can see i'm actually starting to run out of ammo oh here's another purple pod that's perfect timing dude wow what do we get oh we got a haymaker that's way better than a cuda i was gonna say i'm about ready to use my gobble gum but i don't know man i just got a new gun we got insta kill we got grenades all right we might be cooking we might be cooking and a nuke and a nuke look at that and a margua look at that that's not that's not as cool <laughs> oh my god i'm pretty sure one body slam and it's like completely i don't think i'm gonna be able to get that nuke now because i didn't grab it I'm gonna grab the nuke oh there's another purple one. Oh, 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 oh. okay we're good we're good we're good oh that hurt i think i burned some calories doing that <laughs> insta kill okay that's pretty good at least all right let's go ahead and open this pod see what we get that's rocket fuel. I don't need that. Oh, it's a max ammo round. That's pretty sweet. Okay, good. We're on 15. About to get to 16. Let's see if we have any more purples. There is one over there. Okay. Oh, look at that. We got the Xeno Matter. Okay. There's that one. If I remember how this works, we should get the Margua Heart from killing a Margua. And then we'll get the Tentacle from one of these pods, I think. Not that one. But, uh... One of the purple pods should drop the tentacle. A nuke honestly isn't actually that bad. I can actually still just that to kill some zombies. You know what? Isn't that a Margo heart right there? Can I just take that one instead? <laughs> Why do I need to go kill a Margo? Oh, this guy is purple. Let's pick this one. I should be really careful, but there's the tentacle. We got it. You guys don't understand. This is so clutch. As long as I can just get one more Margo to kill. It should drop the piece at fire sale. Uh, I would love to use fire sale. Unfortunately, fire sale costs 10 points, which is not zero. And there's a max ammo. Make my my use of my gobble gun even more worthless. Here we go. We got a purple guy down here. 
hope zombies don't come and destroy me while I'm trying to pick this up. Fires tank, man, I'm just getting not good stuff from this. Obviously, I'm hoping if I can, I can get a ray gun. I mean, it is Black Ops 3, so like the ray gun does kind of suck, but it's better than nothing, right? Oh, Man of War, that's actually good. That's actually good. That that one was worth it. That one was worth it. You know what? Oh, oh my God, I was just. <laughs> just had a heart attack from that i was gonna say you know what i'm actually doing better on this one than i have on any of the other ones i thought i was gonna do the worst on this one. Oh, there's my shield let's go get a new one but yeah that's kind of that's kind of weird because i thought i was gonna do the worst there's another purple pod down there i don't think we're gonna have time to pop that one right now. this is like the first time i've i'm like ever actually asking for a margua please just just one just one let him let him let him drop his heart and then we're good call it even Oh, okay, I guess they just fall over randomly. Guess we can check out. This guy could be purple. This isn't a really bad... Oh, it's the ray gun. Uh, I got it, I got it, I got it. can't buy it. Wait, this is a door. Actually, I can't buy it. Ah, we got our ray gun. It took 18 rounds, but we finally did it. We can have the, the ray gun apothecary servant combo if this if this goes right. Shadows of evil, no purchase challenge, zero to hero, dude. Come on, we can do it. I'm going to say that, and I'm just going to get instantly killed in like, like that. I'm already red screen. Oh, oh, I'm being cocky. I'm being cocky. Oh, oh, no, nope, no. Nope. Man, I, I need to calm down a little bit. I'm, oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just being a little too enthusiastic about this. Got a couple new greens growing, but I don't know. Oh, yes, here it is. Here it is. Here's a guy. Here's a guy. All right, come on, dude. If we get this guy, we get the apothecary. Hopefully, good drop it. I'm gonna die for this. I know it. You no, know I'm gonna die for this. In my blood. In my blood, dude. Insta kill. Insta kill. Let's pop our gob again. Ammo back. Oh! No. no, dude, it happened so fast. I was doing so good. I was about to get like, the god set up. Damn. Shadows actually went pretty damn well. I didn't pass, but I got super close and nearly even got a god set up with a ray gun and an apothecary servant. As of right now, we're over three, unfortunately, but I've got a pretty good feeling about this next one. All right, so for Black Ops 4, I decided to choose nine. Now, the reason for that is probably, you can guess, the challenges. The challenges in nine do give you free guns. Now, granted, we won't be able to do all the challenges because some of them require you like buying a trap or something. Obviously, I, I can't do that. So this first one here gives you an extra self-revive. We can actually get self-revives in this one now because it is Black Ops 4, we just spawned with them. So, you know, I have I've got three to keep and uh, to compensate for that i also decided to put it on hardcore just to make it a little bit more difficult all right we need five consecutive headshot kills i have a shotgun that shouldn't be too hard hopefully we that just gives me some extra points what's the next one i'm really afraid that we're gonna get the there's a challenge where it's like a slide under ooh, i'm gonna die there's a challenge where it's like slide under a blade trap the problem with that challenge is actually that uh well you know i kind of can't buy the blade trap so we should at the very least though actually be able to build the shield which is good i'm gonna kill these guys right here because if you guys didn't know when you kill these guys normally this is for back a punch but you actually get a thousand extra points so i'm gonna go down already dude oh no oh no oh no. okay okay i made it out alive it's okay it's okay yeah when i pick this up here i get oh, okay it's 500 points i guess i was wrong but still three points open up the map a little bit faster go ahead and pop our temporal to use with this insta kill i do need to be preserving some ammo so maybe maybe i shouldn't have done that because that took a lot of my shotgun ammo thankfully though nine actually usually is pretty pretty generous with the tiger rounds so i should hopefully be able to kind of last a little bit here's our second piece no nope. yep yeah, okay that that happened see you know that's why we got self revived see that was just me being stupid i'm over here trying to hoard up zombies to do my challenge all right three four uh eight nine ten now see check it Pack a punch strife on round five let's go and here's our last shield part okay all right perfect we got our shield on round five so we do actually need to be kind of careful here because the way the shields work in black ops 4 is um you know i kind of technically have to pay for it to get it again if i break it so it's important that i don't let it break because if i do i can't get a new one it's just completely over so we're going to be relying on carpenters to be able to go ahead and get new ones I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue it definitely might because i'm gonna be honest 
honest, my shield always breaks in this game, so I think I just suck at holding in shields, I guess. But so for this challenge, we need to survive a whole round in the temple. Okay. Holy, I have 10 health. I have 10 health. I have 10 health. Oh my god. I mean, it's not like I lose anything if I go down. I don't have any perks, but you know, I still want to keep my revives anyway, right? Now, technically speaking, there actually is a way to get a perk. If you go ahead and do all the challenges at like the very end, they go ahead and just give you a free perk. All right, there's that one done. Let's go check. We got a free max ammo. Not very useful because I just got one, but I can't do the next challenge unless I take it. So we're going to have to take it. Kill five zombie tigers. Okay, that's not hard at all. Probably should have picked a better specialist weapon, to be honest. I didn't look at my glass at all before I started this. But uh, you know what? I think it'll be okay. It still kills. I'm not expecting to get that high. Obviously, 20 is the goal. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They just give you free drops on this map, too. I guess that's that's probably also a little bit useful, right? Free insta-kills. Really can't complain about that, for sure. Should also probably start using the knife on the strife. If I just put a couple shots into the zombies, give them a knife. It takes a little bit longer, but it will be saving a lot of ammo which is kind of important these guys though are definitely what i'm afraid of the gladiators i mean they just they steal all your ammo especially on those high rounds when you get like 10 of them around you know it just it just sucks to deal with it's like if you've never played black ops 4 before let me put it this way it's like when you're playing black ops 6 and you hit like round 31 and there's just like 10 manglers that spawn every round that's what it's like okay okay we got a special tiger round hopefully there's five tigers i don't know sometimes they don't spawn that many tigers oh look at that we got five tigers sweet just a full power that's okay i don't really need it right now uh what's my next challenge though break off nine pieces of armor okay i can do that so far we're getting really good challenges we haven't gotten any that require spending money i can already tell the fire from these greats is totally gonna get me killed so that's a problem for future me and by future me i mean like five minutes from now there you go just by killing that guy i broke off what four three pieces of armor oh damn it i hate these guys so much the blue like the water catalyst zombies they suck so freaking much they like buff all the zombies around them and it just takes a hundred a hundred bullets to kill a normal zombie which is not good for me because i cannot afford to spend a hundred bullets on a single zombie right now oh, nuke sweet you know what this has been such a casual match of zombies compared to like the other ones i've done so far the other ones i was like stressing out freaking out like oh man i'm gonna get double swiped i'm gonna get destroyed I'm just, this is like, I'm just playing this like how I play Black Ops 4. <laughs> That's how I'm playing this, even even though I put it on hardcore too. I definitely think if I left this on regular with a four hit down, it just, it would have been way, way too easy. It wouldn't have been a good challenge, so. All right, we got a gladiator round, which means I should totally be able to finish my challenge by this round, hopefully. Never mind, because there's only two. Okay, never mind. This, uh, this beam from the Scepter of Ra is really really similar to the dark flare from black ops 6 they're both like energy beams oh crap oh how am i at 10 health oh my god oh no oh no oh, okay okay i think we're good i think we're good i think we're good get off my ass dude holy crap anyway what i was saying they both shoot beams they both revive players like i guess they're not really that different I don't know, I always liked the scepter, but it's definitely a support weapon. A lot of people didn't like the scepter, they just wanted to like do damage. So they chose like literally any of the other, literally any of the other field upgrades. Or what were they called? Specialists? I think they were called specialists. Oh, we got a blight father. Shit, okay, let me pop this. We're gonna drop one of these guys to take out some of the normies. And we're gonna try and kill him before he kills me. This is going to be a little tougher on hardcore. Hardcore actually increases the zombies health over standard. The zombies have more health, so over time it gets harder and harder to kill them. So it's not the same as normal. Like normally, I think the wraith fires are an, like an insta kill forever. In hardcore, I think there actually comes a point in time where it stops insta killing. Same thing with the Helion Salvo in hardcore. I don't think it's a one shot kill forever. Okay, we're on 16. I just I literally just need one more gladiator so I can break off his armor. And get this done because I, I'm, I'm this the shotgun is starting to fall off a little bit you know what you got for me something good damn it okay the problem with the the whole power up drop thing in this map is that for the highest like a crowd affinity that you have the best drop they will give you is fire sale they will only give you fire sales you have to have a lower affinity to get different power ups which is a problem to me because I understand fire sales are valuable, yes, but like when I'm on round 45, I don't really need the fire sale. I kind of, I kind of need the insta kill, right? 
or I don't know the the full power right like, like right there let me pop my temporal actually while we're at it you know so it's like I just wish that they wouldn't only give you fire sales you're gonna give me 1500 fire sales in a row there's gonna come a point in time where I just don't need the fire sale anymore insta kill though I can use insta kill for forever like that's a way better drop for your maximum affinity the only way to lose affinity is to like get hit a bunch of times or go down I don't want to go down because I'm gonna lose one of my self reses and I don't get hit a bunch because I'm on hardcore and I'm barely gonna be able to survive getting hit I'm probably gonna go down again anyway and then lose all my stuff I don't know why I'm so passionate about the affinity system in nine but like why is fire sale the best draw why isn't it like a loot pole of like fire sale and a nuke or insta kill or max ammo like give me anything don't just give me fire sales every three minutes oh wait hold up we did it oh look at that we got the titan better than the shotgun but unfortunately it's not pack a punched so i think this is going to be our cutting off point now hit nine zombies with a single charge shot from the death of orion obviously i can't hit the box to get it uh to be fair i think there's actually a way to build it but i don't know how and i don't really care to look it up i'm already on round 18 so uh, suck it death of orion i don't need you anyway i got myself and i'm all i need so my shield's about to break the instant my shield breaks it's game over like i'm instantly getting like pounced on by a tiger and it's gonna be over Oh, why did I just die? Oh, it was a ti it's always a tiger. What did I say? It's always a tiger. I still don't have any perks anyway. I can't get the perk because I can't do the challenge. So unfortunately, we're not going to be getting any perks today. But uh, you know what? It is what it is. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. No, it's a tiger. I'm going to die to that tiger. Oh, no, and they palm. Oh, oh, there goes my shield. Okay, we lost the shield. It's over. It's over, boys. Oh, nuke clutch. Give me that. You guys are going to be annoying. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to die to one of these axe throwing guys for sure. Oh, oh, I keep, dude, I keep forgetting I don't have a shield. I keep forgetting I don't have a shield. I'm just so used to having it. I'm just so, no, I'm so used to having it. Stop, stop. Oh, wait, hold up. I have this. I have this. Hold up. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, we barely finished that round. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this. We're on 20, though. I think, did we beat, did we beat the other map? What was the map I got 20 on? I think it was, was it Shadows? I think it was Shadows, right? All right. Oh. You gave me the carpenter like a round too late, man. Come on. Hey, full power. That's what I'm talking about. That's way better. There we go. We need to get that like every round. I can also plant this down, but I don't think it really helps me very much because like then I can't use it as a weapon. So, uh, oh my God. Sh shit is going down right now, dude. Uh oh, this is not good. No. Oh, he almost hit me with that axe. That would have been it. Dude, that would have been it. Oh, what's that over there? Is that a nuke? Please tell me. Oh, it's an inst okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Man. Okay. That was that was close. That was a close one for sure. All right. We got him down. He didn't even drop anything for me. Gee, what, a, what a loser. All right. Another full power though. Look at that. I mean, they're they're blessing me, dude. They're blessing me. This is what you want. You need like a balance of taking damage and not taking damage. It's really it's really weird and hard to perfect doing that. But that's like the most optimal way to play nine. No! Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Is that a blue guy? That's a blue guy. Get out of here, dude. Nobody likes you. You're gonna ruin my game. Oh, God. Oh, I'm flashbangs. Oh, no. Oh, dude, I'm getting assaulted right now. All right, let's pull this thing out again. I don't know how I keep getting this thing back somehow, but I somehow I, keep, I just keep getting it back. Oh, my God. Plant it down, please. Oh, this is not good. This is... No, 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 no. It, dude, it, this is not good. No, oh, he hit me. How do I? St I have another self res. <gasps> if you die inside the scepter, you get to revive. <laughs> what? No. No. Wait, 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 wait. I can't die to the green zombie. I will. Nobody. Never. Never on, on my grave will you ever catch me dying to a green zombie in Black Ops 4. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, I did it. It only, it only nearly killed me. I just lost like all my revives in one round. Uh, yeah, dude, look at that. I have four downs right now. Okay, so good to know if you stand inside the scepter, you can just you can just live. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Did I just start killing myself inside the scepter just to, like see what happens? How many how many times can you go down before the game just stops letting you go down? I would kind of like to see that. Oh no no! I got stuck on the pillar. I couldn't go through the door. Oh man. Okay. I'll take it. What is that? 20, 23, 24. I, I will take it. Okay. Finally, we did it. Nine is the first map that I actually managed to complete the challenge on 
and even on hardcore at that, albeit with some self revives. This video is going to take a little turn out because we're moving on to Cold War with that different health and damage system. Alright, we're doing D Machine. So obviously there were a lot of different choices I could have made for what map to pick for Cold War. You know, I could have done Outbreak, I could have done Forsaken because of the weird spawn room it's got, but I kind of figured, hey, you know, it's the first map, it's like we should we should do this one. We're going to do the first map. So we're doing the first map. And I picked my XM4. I did leave the the purple color gun easter egg on. I know I turned it off in Black Ops 3, the super easter egg, but I'm going to be honest, if you want to turn off the super easter egg in this game, what you have to do is go into Outbreak and then go into you have to just play until you get Zoo. And then once you get Zoo, you can go in there and turn it off, but then I have to go turn it back on. And I was just like, that's that's a lot of work. So we're just going to leave it on. We're going to see how it goes. It probably means I'll get a lot further than if I didn't have it on. But you know what? Whatever. I don't really care. It's Cold War, right? Who, who cares? So there are one or two different things that we can do in Cold War on D-Machine here to get some free stuff. The first one, of course, is the Coffin Dance Easter Egg. We'll definitely do that. It gives us free jug. You can also get some free guns from it. That could be good. Unfortunately, I can't do the Trials. The Trials, because they do cost money. Money. It costs you yeah, 500. It would be really, really cool for me to be able to do trials. All right, there's power. We're gonna do the pack a punch, even though I can't actually use the pack a punch. And that is actually because when you go into the dark ether, there are crystals you can shoot that drop you stuff sometimes. So, uh, yeah, you guessed right. We're totally gonna be shooting crystals in the dark ether. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can get here. I'm pretty sure if you just don't do it, the ether portal just keeps on like respawning near the pack a punch. So I should be okay and I can still keep farming crystals this way. Oh, there we go. We got body armor. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Stuff like that, even if it's not the best in the world, it it's something. Yep. It's kind of starting to look like now though, we might be out of crystals. So we're gonna just gonna have to wait till uh, the next time. I did bring ring of fire because I figured, you know, we're probably gonna not have a super upgraded weapon. So we're gonna need some extra damage i considered bringing frenzied guard because frenzied guard makes them all walk which i mean if i'm in a hectic situation you know making them all walk kind of kind of good kind of a kind of a good upgrade you know but in the end i i went ring of fire i think it's probably better for killing bosses so oh, look at that we got a gun it's a sigma but it's a gun <laughs> still doing good on ammo right now eventually obviously i might start to run out of ammo i do have a knife but i don't know how i don't really know how far it's going to take me so we might need to start there's a blue xm4 unfortunately i already have one hey there's a black hole though that's pretty cool and then we'll start have to relying on you know grenades and stuff you know earlier i said i can't buy this technically it is a door it goes down and it opens a door so technically it's a door and i can buy it no no i'm grabbing the part no don't teleport me grab the part oh i got the part okay I don't think I can put it back in until I go back in the dark ether, but at least I got it. I want to do that coffin dance easter egg, but I'm going to be honest, I don't remember how to do it. I thought you were supposed to like shoot orbs or something, but I'm not seeing the orb. I remember there's one here, but I don't see it, so I'm not sure what's uh, what's going on there. Alright, this is going to be super clutch. The C4 is going to go crazy. Got them all. <laughs> Look at that. You know, I will say, huge Black Ops 6 fan. My only problem is, like, they did this thing where when you throw, like, a grenade or something, your character isn't left-handed anymore. In Cold War, it was like that. It's left-handed, so you can still shoot while you've got, like, prime, you know? That was pretty cool. That was good. For grenades, tomahawks, concussions, whatever you want to throw, right? You can throw it and shoot at the same time. They just, they just took that away in Black Ops 6, you know? That is, like, legitimately, in terms of multiplayer, that's, like, probably one of my biggest complaints. I mean, even zombies, because, hey, I'm using it in zombies, too, so... I don't know. You know, I just feel like they, they don't need to take that away. I feel like that's an enhancement to the game. I have 50 health. I did not think about that. I forgot that I have a health bar. This is so freaking trippy, dude. <laughs> they went they went crazy with the bundles back in Cold War. Man, they went insane with the bundles. Because, you know, back Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone, they were trying to be, like, really tame with the bundle. Like, the farthest out they would venture into the realm of, like, something fantastical was like the anime girl tracer pack but then like the instant cold war came out they just started like just throwing master crafts and everything out like out the ass like they do now i'm will i'm willing to bet the the cold war the cold war dlc cycle probably made them a lot of money uh oh we got the uh the big guy uh, i don't have my ring of fire yet Ooh, i have 30 health i didn't think about that Oh, that's a zombie. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Um, maybe I should try and get my ring of fire really cool. Okay, stop hitting me. Please stop hitting me. Please stop hitting me. Dude, dude, dude. Grenade. 
throw a grenade. Okay, okay, okay. I got my ring of fire. Oh, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, okay, good. Thank God. He almost shot me with that. That would have, like, totally killed me. Okay, okay. We split him. We shoot his two little guys, his goons, his gooners, and we're, uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You know, I just realized that I'm pretty sure there's a free, a free die Easter egg in this that I didn't even, like, think about. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but can't you take this and you put it in here and you get this thing? Yeah, you put it in here. Okay. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I completely forgot that you can just, like, get, a, <laughs> you can just get a free wonder weapon. So that's good, but the problem now is I'm gonna have to figure out how am I gonna get a horde of zombies down there to where I can get the die, because you gotta suck in a bunch of them, without, like dying i i couldn't figure out how to do the cop and dance easter egg because apparently i'm old i lost my touch i don't know you know i don't think my gun does enough damage i do have a black hole if i get it, like in a pickle or something but all right let's check it okay we got a bunch of guys coming here let's turn this on no 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 oh i lost it oh my god okay that's that's crazy i got hit i got stuck in the corner i just lost the whole horde vacuum everything Okay, hopefully, hopefully we can make up for that somehow. Oh, okay, that. <laughs> that was such a, such a fall from grace. I was doing really good that whole match. I was just like, I was breezing through it. I was pretending like nothing bad was going on. And I just, I just got humbled so fast. Oh my God. All right, so maybe I got instantly humbled in Cold War, but surely I'm going to redeem myself in Vanguard, right? Wait, no, don't leave. Please, please don't leave. I know you don't like Vanguard, but here, okay? You can just skip it if you really want to. Ah, uh, yes, Vanguard zombies. All right, everybody skip this part of the video. That's right, I am like the, the one, the one YouTuber that makes zombies videos that remembers that this game exists. So I was actually going to do Shinonuma, but I decided to pick the Archon because the Archon has the crystals you can shoot that drop stuff for you. So I can get salvage, I can get ammo, I can get all sorts of stuff from the crystal. Obviously, I think Shinonuma is a better map, but I think this would probably make for a more interesting video. So we went with this one. And if you guys know my channel, you know, every time I play Vanguard, I always flex that I got Dark Ether because yes, I'm just that much of a loser. I did get Dark Ether and yes, it was extremely miserable to get. And no, it was not worth it. It doesn't even glow in the dark. It sucks. It's just animated green tiger. So obviously I can't buy anything. Hopefully we're going to be able to find a way to actually go ahead and get pack a bunch or something. There are dig spots, but I'm going to be honest. I don't remember how you dig them up. I'm guessing you need a shovel, but I don't remember where the shovel is. My, my plan overall is that I know sometimes when you kill the Sturm Kriegers on higher rounds, they will drop you pack a bunch of guns. So that was kind of my plan for how to get more powerful guns. As for perks, you can actually buy all of the perks one time for free, which is zero points. So I can do that. However, I can only do it one time. I can't like get, you know, any really uh, substantial upgrades, just, just some minor ones here and there. So it's not actually going to make that big of a difference. You know what? We can actually, I, I didn't even think about this. We can actually use our sacrificial heart. We get these hearts for free. I mean, they don't, they aren't points, right? Or is that kind of spending? I don't know. I didn't think about that. I'm not sure. We also do get one self revive, but no extras. So I get one down and uh, that's it. I did bring ring of fire because I felt like, you know, I'm going to need the extra damage. So ring of fire, probably the move All right here's the first part. There's two parts you got to get for pack a punch. Obviously I can't buy pack a punch, but when you do the ritual that opens pack a punch kind of like shadows of evil it actually opens up more of the map so we kind of just want to do that anyway i guess here's our first perk we can go ahead and grab the first tier of jug here's our second perk faster health regen i really want to say there's a shovel somewhere in this room one oh look there it is see there's a shovel okay so now i can i can dig these up right yeah okay there we go now there's no like golden shovel or anything i don't think but there's a chance i can maybe get some guns hopefully all right you know what i've decided i think i think we should consider spending hearts as spending money so we're actually gonna go ahead and not spend any of the hearts i think if i can't spend salvage i shouldn't be able to spend the hearts either i think that's just kind of fair you know at the very least though good thing there is no ammo shortage that's for sure all right here's our last pack a punch part let's uh go and rebuild that you know oh oh no uh. sometimes when you dig up these spots they drop a monkey which is cool because it attracts the zombies but uh the monkey hurts you too so like that part is not quite as cool and it actually like it really hurts so like <laughs> it'll kill you all right here's ethereal haste that's basically just stamina all right here we're gonna do the ritual so the ritual um i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna drop a decoy in case i die 
So, oh yeah, oh yeah, not good. No, no, not good, not good, not good. What do you mean you don't love being shot at by a zombie with a gun? That's the most fun thing ever. You guys are crazy. Okay, I think we got it though. It looks like we did it, okay. Okay, okay, here we go. We got pack a punch. I can't use it, unfortunately, but uh, it's there. Why that's good is it means the map is now open, which means I can get the rest of my perks. Right in here is the uh, diabolical damage. <laughs> it's basically dead shot. It does extra headshot damage, okay? Obviously, extra damage is pretty useful for me. My last one we're missing is speed. Cola, let's go grab that one. And there we go. Okay, we got all our perks. We can't get any more. Otherwise, it would cost money, so... Oh well, so now I think I'm basically just killing zombies and waiting until I can hopefully get a zombie that drops me a better gun. I think you technically you can get the wonder weapon on this map by doing the easter egg, but I, uh, A, don't want to do the easter egg, B, don't know if you have to buy anything in the easter egg, and C, uh, I don't want to do the easter egg. So I'm sorry to whoever out there wanted me to do the, the Archon Easter egg, but uh, it's not happening. So we're just going to go ahead, stick with our, our MP40. Honestly, it's not doing that bad for a spawn weapon on round 8. It's not doing that bad. You know what? Actually, there is an Easter egg over here. I remember there's like a special zombie you can do. He's out there. You can do like a quest, but I think you have to do it with an assault rifle, I want to say. And I don't have one, so I can't do that. I know you do it and it gives you like rewards. It, there's a chance it can give you a gun. I don't know. Hopefully not, because I can't use it, but, you know, Ring of Fire and Vanguard, I mean, they just, they went through so many different hoops with this thing. Like, on launch, it sucked, they updated it, it sucked, they updated it again, it still sucked. And now, like, they buffed it, like, eight times, and it's still, like, maybe 25% as powerful as it was in Cold War. Like, they really just clearly could not find a way to balance Ring of Fire, and I think that's probably why it's just not in Zombies anymore. Black Ops 6 doesn't have Ring of Fire. I, I don't think Modern Warfare 3 had Ring of Fire either, now that I think about it. And I think that's just because, honestly, they couldn't figure out how to balance it. It was just either it totally sucked, or it was totally broken, and there was, like, no in-between. Like, look at this here. I'm trying to stand in here and kill zombies. They're just walking in. They're walking in swinging on me. I'm gonna die, I'm at 30 health right now. Ring of fire in this game is just not, it's really not it, I don't know why. I wish I could buy wall guns, cause like in this game the wall guns are just straight packed like right off the wall, don't even have to go to pack a punch. Pretty cool, uh, I wish I could get one, you know? But uh, like I said, pretty soon here, Sturmkriegers and Zabala should start spawning, and they both drop guns which can be pack a punched. Hopefully that happens. Right now, I'm still kind of doing okay. Um, my only real concern is if I ever somehow run out of ammo. I don't think it'll happen. The zombies drop usually enough ammo, and if they don't, I can go around and shoot the crystals, or I can do the dig sites. Both of those usually give me ammo too. I just would like to try and get a packed gun before ammo starts becoming a concern. If we can do that, I think we'll be in the clear, and we will make it past round 20. You know, one of the great things that Vanguard did, the radar is always on. It's not like a sweeping sweep like it is in Cold War and Black Ops 6. It is like always on, straight up. You can like, you can, you've got wall hacks, you've got zombie wall hacks. That's great. When you need to find the last zombie, you need wall hacks. That's great. Love it. What I don't love, though, is that this Ring of Fire does not shoot from your magazine, unfortunately, which really sucks in my case here. But I do have some grenades. I guess they're, uh, they're okay. They're not doing insane or anything, but they work. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're decent. Oh, I heard one spawn in. I heard one spawn in. Where you at, dude? Oh, there you are. Insta-kill. Take him out real quick. There we go. Drop anything? Drop anything? Uh, damn it. No, we did not. Okay, that's not good. I mean, when you get to high rounds, they spawn like 20 of them around, so I guess it's not like the end of the world, but, uh, you know, it could, it could be a little bit better, right? It could be a little bit better. You know, I've got a lot of salvage here that unfortunately I just cannot use. It would be really neat if I could. Dude, I have Black Ops 6 brain rot right now. I just tried to, I just tried to press G to put in an armor plate and did like a watch inspect. <laughs> I forgot that this game doesn't even have like the armor plates. Well, this game does have armor, but like you have to buy the first tier of armor, so I can't even get that. Uh oh, I'm running out of ammo. I just uh, I just noticed that. What, what happened to all the ammo, guys? You guys usually drop a lot of ammo. What's going on here? You know, I just noticed that this uh this map actually doesn't have any boom shrier rounds. I think Shinonuma does, where like you know every they're like the the max ammo rounds. You know, this uh this one doesn't have them. That kind of sucks. That would be nice. Molotovs suck in this game. Forty damage my gun does 30 like come on dude legitimately like i don't know what it is with like call of duty and just hating molotov cocktail but in like every zombies game that they are in they just they suck they suck so hard for no reason the throwing knife is just not really viable not like it was in black ops 6 anyway because 
I'm mean, it just it's it, it it's not good. We're gonna go C4 though. C4 is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, whoa. Oh, three, three hit, three hit, three hit, three hit. Uh, yeah, uh the higher the round you are, uh the zombies do more damage. Right now it seems like it's a three or a four hit kill, maybe. I swear, whenever I'm making a video, like the, the game just has it out for me. Like they just hate me. Normally, when I'm playing this, there's 800 storm kriegers per round that are dropping in trying to shoot me with their miniguns. The instant I start recording, they're just, they're strangely absent. They're just, they're gone. Zabala as well. Where, where, where the hell is everybody? Normally they're all over the place. You're going crazy and just absolutely ruining like the fun of, of my match. But now they're just strangely absent when I surprisingly need them. Am I missing something? Oh, uh oh, I went down. Oh guys, how am I ever gonna revive myself? I don't know how to, I don't know what button I need to press to revive myself, dude. I don't know, may, maybe it's F? Maybe it's F? I'm not 100% sure, but it could be F. All right, well, now it's uh, official. We lost our revive. We're all naked now. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. I fat fingered Q. You still have my throwing knife, my trusty throwing knife. It's all I've got left to kill zombies with. Oh, oh, hold up. There's a guy. There's a guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's pop ring of fire. Just hard focus this guy. I'm going to die for this. I, I don't have a self revive. I need to remember that. But like, I need to kill him. I need his gun. Or if he drops a gun. I hope he does. Round 19. He's got to drop one. Just, just, just like for me, man. Do it for me, please. Ooh, ah, that hurts. That hurts. I have to sit here and play like running around the rosy with this guy so he doesn't freaking mag dump me and insta kill me. There you are. Get away from me. I don't have the health to do this. Oh, there's a grenade. Hold up. This is clutch. Drop the nade. There we go. We stunned everybody. We got him. Oh, oh. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. We got a ray gun. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're gonna die. Dude, I just got this ray gun. You know how sad I would be if I died right now? I would actually, like, unironically cry, dude. Oh, uh oh. See, I'm so happy we got the ray gun. The only complaint I have, though, the Vanguard ray gun shakes your screen like hell. No idea why, but to be honest, I don't even really care right now. I'm just, I'm just happy. I got a ray gun. I got, I, I'm doing good. I got a ray gun. Oh, uh, we finally got Zabala. It took that long. Really? You say, ray gun, do your thing. Yeah, this is a lot more fun. Than uh, the MP40 was, I'll tell you that much. Oh, 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 It's so easy to die in this game. I always forget that. Like, oh, <laughs> I just died instantly. See what I mean? It's so freaking easy to die in Vanguard. I just don't get it. It's something you can only understand if you've played this game. It's just so, so easy to die. And I don't know why. And it's annoying because I literally just got, I literally just, I'm prestige 34. Damn. Okay. I played this game a little too much. I am actually so surprised. I did insanely better than I thought I would on Vanguard. And this is now the second challenge I've gotten the ray gun on. If you're still watching, Watching now comment cookie because most people probably skip the vanguard part of the video so you're special now let's get on to terminus all right here we are on terminus so like i said i can buy doors so i'm gonna buy the power and stuff but i can't buy anything else i can't buy perks i can't buy weapons i'm also gonna limit it so i can't buy anything with salvage either so i got my first gun from the guard that died over there because the guards drop guns sometimes which is kind of useful so basically i need to devise the ultimate strategy to get everything i possibly can for or free if i was smart i probably would have brought in a better gun this is just the one i'm getting gold on right now <laughs> these guys dropped a bunch of guns too all right i'm gonna print under stamina up even though i really don't need to i can't do anything with the points so for terminus i'm kind of thinking my strategy is something like using the armory those keys you get from the armory don't cost any money and they give you guns the only flaw i can immediately see with that is that you don't start getting those keys until like round 15 so up to like round 15 or so i need to figure out a different strategy to figure all that stuff out this shouldn't all be too bad right now because i'm just you know this is stuff you normally do with a gray gun anyway so it's not gonna be that tough definitely gonna need to be relying also on the drops from the zombies so you know when they drop grenades and stuff i also need to be really conservative with ammo because i can't go and buy more ammo now there is a free max ammo easter egg that i can technically do but i can only do it once so we're gonna have to be careful i also i can't buy any extra armor either so yeah this is gonna be Maybe a little bit tougher than I thought. We're definitely going to also, excuse me, zombie eye. I'm also definitely going to be needing to use the shovel. I'm going to have to just pray that I start like getting guns from these dig sites. I'm not going to lie. A tomahawk is actually a pretty good find because this thing is infinite. Oh, there we go. He dropped a green gun. Sometimes these guys in the middle here drop green guns. That's what I'm talking about. 
Stuff like that is basically what I have to rely on to survive. So, hold up. He's going to break this. I've never actually failed one of these power challenges. I'm guessing if you fail, you just have to do it again. But my life would be so much easier if I could just buy melee macchiato. Because I could just punch all the zombies. Now, if this was a melee only challenge, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be pretty good with a melee only challenge on this game. All right, we're going to go check out this room. There's usually a couple dig sites in here. Yep. Oh, you're not. Oh, I got a free perk. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I need. That is what we need. What you got for me? Another. It's quick rev again. Damn it. Dude, I was about to go crazy. I was like, I just got two free perks in a row. I mean, it's still even just, just getting one is good. Honestly, just getting one is good. The one thing I'm thinking for dig sites is, you know, there's a bunch of dig sites on the islands. The one thing is I can't buy the boat. This costs 500 points. There's a default boat that spawns here that I can take for sure for free but I can't buy another boat. So I need to make sure I like don't lose this boat. But I'm gonna be honest, sometimes the boats just like despawn. But yeah, there's these chests underwater like this and they just give you free loot. So if we go find some of these chests and then come around to these islands that have the dig spots, I mean like I can, you know, I think I can muster up enough to at least hit like round 20 maybe. It's very, very optimistic. Cause like I said, I can't pack a punch and I can't buy anything with salvage can't buy ammo so i'm pretty much just gonna sit here and hoard tomahawks so the parasite round is actually a little clutch because it actually will be giving me a max ammo theoretically my only way to get ammo back is max ammos which i'm mostly just going to be getting from these bug rounds so we're going to take our boat down under the actual boat because there's a loot crate down here and hey you know maybe maybe it'll give me something a little cool what you got for me nothing okay all right well i was wrong there's another one right here though anything cool just points dang it i have no clue if those crates can actually give you guns i'm just really hoping that they can oh shoot that's a tentacle i think we'll be okay i think we will be okay there's another one of those things even though i'm dying in the water <laughs> okay i don't know if those drop guns maybe they don't what the hell is that what i have uh i have no idea what that was uh, let's just use our tomahawk i'm so glad they made them do double kills now like that's so much more helpful now i know there is an easter egg to get a free wonder weapon i actually have no idea if that involves purchasing anything i know you have to do math and if you don't want to do the math you have to buy it from tech and that's money so do i really want to do math i i don't know i don't really know if i want to do math <laughs> there is a free perk easter egg here where you shoot these spores they're like the spores from modern warfare 3 and you have to do that for a couple rounds on some of these different islands and then i believe you get a free perk so we're gonna try and do that. I gotta try and like really, really save my ammo though. Oh crap. No. 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 Get away from me. Get away. I don't know what that is, that symbol. I've never seen that in my life before. There's also these guys in these cages, which I've heard that if you kill them, you can get a free perk from them. Oh, the vermin in there. Okay, I think it's working. If they turn into vermin, I think it's working. Uh oh, my tomahawk, my tomahawk. No, my tomahawk. Oh, double points. That's the most useful power up I could have possibly gotten. Thanks, guys. I should really, I should really calm down before I die. Ooh, decoy. There, there. You die. There's a spider up there. Uh, if I could hit you, or I lose all my ammo. Oh god. There we go. That one's good. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them, right? What is this? No, what? I have no idea what that is. Okay. Wait, no, don't tell me. Did my boat despawn? Oh no, it just went over there. Oh wait, there it is. Okay, so this is the second time we got to shoot these spores. I think you have to do this like three or four times. Which is unfortunate and kind of lame, but I can't be picky right now. Well, there's a bunch of them. Do I have the ammo for this? I don't know. Okay, I think I did it right because they're manglers now. Do I have the ammo to kill a mangler though? I don't know. I don't think I thought this through. <laughs> I basically have to sacrifice all of my zombie killing ammo for the free perk. And hope that I get like a parasite round soon so I can get some more ammo back. I guess there is that max ammo easter egg. So I guess maybe I could kind of like do that. Well, you know, you need a frag grenade for that. I don't have a frag grenade. So I guess it's, it's Jober. It's Jober, dude. Okay, I've killed all the zombies except for one. Let's go try this again. Oh, I need to kill these manglers. If I got an insta kill, I mean that would that would work, right? Maybe if I could just like break his helmet off and just use a little bit of my ammo for this. Eh? Yeah? Okay. Oh, oh there it is, there it is. Oh, I got dead shot. I mean, okay. Honestly, I just want like jug and melee macchiato, but okay. Extra headshot damage, I guess it doesn't hurt. Oh, what if I just get another M4? 
Are you serious? I got another M4? The problem with that is you can only hold one of the same gun. If I got a different gun, I could like pick it up and have two green guns. No. Of course not. Why? Why would anything ever go my way? All right, now we got to go look around for the last island with all the spores on it. Okay, what is that? See that icon on the map right there? What? What is that? Like right here. What is this? It's on the floor? What? 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 What's happening? <laughs> what is this? You know what? I don't know. I'm just going to ignore that. Oh, hey. Oh, maybe it means it's the tentacle. Okay. Ooh, I got a, I got a black hole. Uh, ooh, speed cola. Okay, okay, okay. So it's, it's really slow, but like I'm getting there. You know, I'm getting there. I am getting dig spots with some decent loot. Okay, here it is. Here's the last island. Ow, what's killing me? Oh god, it's the green stuff. Stop following me. I'm gonna die. I have 30 health. I hate that green stuff so much. It just follows you around like a literal plague. Look at it. It's just following me around. Look at that. It's not fair. Not fair because I gotta stop and shoot these things. Look at that one. It's all covered up. How am I supposed to get these? It's breaking my boat. You're breaking my damn boat. I have 10 health. No. <laughs> I just lost speed cola. What? I lost speed cola and my self revive, and I can't craft another self revive. Are you serious? That's stupid. It should go away eventually. Well, at least I lost speed cola. That was probably the least useful one I had, to be honest. Actually, actually horrible. Horrible game design. Horrible game design. L map. I'm sorry. Terminus, whatever I said good about you before I take it all back. Do you guys know how it feels to just hoard up zombies every single round and just do this the whole time? Ooh, is that a grenade? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Way faster. Thank you. Okay, there is a nuke, but we actually don't want that because we need to, like, save a crawler or two. Just get these guys here. Let's kill the fast ones. Nobody likes the fast ones. All right, come here, Tubby. Thank you. All right, so we come over here. We shoot and break these. These are green, I guess. Oh, there we go. We got back. Oh, it's that. Oh, my God, it's back up. Punch. Okay, you can't hold on to these like you could before. So, I mean, I just have to use it. But, like, I got a pack up punch gun. Hell, yeah. Oh, I got flopper, too. Okay. Flopper's good because if you have... So, there's this augment that makes you slide much further. Look at that. That's super cool. All right, this is awesome. This is good. This is good. This is good. We're winning. We're winning, guys. We're winning. We're doing it. I can flop to kill zombies. Maybe I should have put on PhD slider, actually. PhD slider, I could just, like, slide into the zombies, you know? You know, I was doing those loot chests underground. Uh, I think they're, like, here, is it? I think you, you open, like, all ten of the chests around the map, and then they give you, like, a free perk or something. Or it might just be loot, which includes a free perk. Either way, doesn't matter. I need both, so. You know what? I'm kind of stupid. I probably should have pack punched my knife, because my knife, like, you know, doesn't have ammo to worry about oopsies oh wait, there's a chest here oh we got another gun maybe we got two guns dude clutch or what oh my god you know things things are starting to look a little up my only complaint i guess is that <gasps> oh it's blue but it's not pack a punched what do i do what do i do i'm sure pack is better but like oh i feel bad now why is it always giving me x and force oh damn it one of these things again how did my belt get full health back i have no idea i gotta get out of the water and wait annoying see all i'm trying to do is just find out like i need to find all the chests really dude really go away please i have no idea if shooting it does anything but like i don't know if i want to waste my ammo on that look at this i'm not even in the water it's just sitting here waiting for me look at that camping my boat that's not fair dude oh my god there's more you know what no no go away that's what that is on the map that's the that's the freaking acid breath it just went through the boat to get to me. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm doing like a time lapse race again. What, dude? What the? What? I can't even get on the boat now. Now I'm gonna lose my freaking flop. I'm just gonna die. I'm not gonna lose anything. I'm just gonna lose the game. <laughs> Look at it. It's just sitting there. Yeah, man. Please. I don't even know what shooting it does, but I hope it does something. Evidently not. It's still chasing me. I'm. I'm. I'm so fed up with this, dude. Oh, I see a chest right there, though. I need that. Look at that. It's just, it's got like a mind of its own. It's chasing me. Literally chasing me. It's, it, 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 it has like a steering wheel. I'm gonna sit here, wait for it to go away. Then I gotta wait for the monster to come back the instant I get in the water again. I'm gonna shoot him in the mouth and nothing's gonna happen. All right, dude, come on. It just appeared. He didn't even come to spit it at me. It just showed up. What the hell? What is that? That's a watch. That's not a crate. Damn it. The problem with the gas is it like it hurts my boat. My boat's like on fire now. I have no idea why I got a watch or what I'm doing with a watch. <laughs> is it following me into the power room? Oh my god. Literally, I'm in the power room, dude. I'm in the power. Dude, dude, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. <laughs> Didn't help. Look at that. This shit is stupid. It just fought. <laughs>
That's not fair. Whatever. I don't care. It's on the land. It's on land. Oh my god. G dude. It grew legs and started walking. That's literally... There is no universe where that is fair. Oh, we haven't gotten a mangler yet for some reason. I thought, I thought they start spawning on 10, but I guess not. Oh, wait. No, I do hear a mangler. Okay. So, mangler is actually good because that means he might drop us a key. We want manglers and amalgams. Granted, I don't know if I have the ammo to deal with an amalgam, but there we go. He got me ammo and the... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Why? Why, dude? Why? Why me? All right, so I'm a little more optimistic about Liberty Falls because I know a few more side Easter eggs on this one to get free stuff. So I'm feeling like we can do a little bit better than whatever we... I, I don't even remember what round I died on, honestly. So this vending machine here is going to give me something for free every round, hopefully. You know, it could be a bag of chips or it could be a ray gun. I don't even know why I did that because like I can't even I can't use the bowling. I mean I guess I can buy doors whatever we can also do the bowling alley easter egg which should help give us a little bit of loot I'm also definitely going to be doing the safe because we're gonna need those keys and that so this right here is a great easter egg if you throw a grenade up at this head here and explode it it starts raining zombies and the zombies drop stuff for you they drop points they drop kill streaks and they usually also drop you an ether tool so I can get my gun up from gray to, to green. And also, like I said, a ton of kill streaks, which is great. Here's our tool. So I got a green gun now, a little bit better. We're going to start stacking Semtexes because there's another Easter egg which needs Semtexes. Go ahead and just drop our RCXD, I guess. I've got a bunch of kill streaks here, so I might as well use them. Whoa, you're not supposed to go for me. Go for the car, idiot. You know, I should have spawned with a sniper so I could do the dead shot Easter egg. That would have been a pretty good idea, but unfortunately, I uh, did, didn't do that. Okay, there's this car here. It's got Mr. Peaks in it. That means if I shoot this with a mangler, it'll blow up, and sometimes you get good stuff out of it. One time I did it, and I just got salvaged, but another time I did it, and I got a jet gun, so. All right, here, here's another piece. There's another one. Oh, I got the one. Okay, I got the last one. Okay, I have no idea how this works. I've done it one time. Well, I know is that you get stuff for doing it so i get the bowling ball and i know you're supposed to hit zombies i don't know how you hit more than one zombie though oh, okay that's how you do it you charge it up i got it i got it back there yeah okay i see i see how it works okay can i just like go to a different lane <laughs> i can just steal lanes i miss dude i suck a bowling oh okay that was way better that was way better he went flying that was so funny oh i didn't charge it enough damn it all right come on bowling ball Come on, we got this right there. I missed all of them. Okay. All right. One last good hit. Come on. Two. I'll take it. Okay. 250 points. Is that good? I don't know. Probably not. I probably I, I did pretty bad. <laughs> Can I get her like a reward though? Yeah, there we go. What do you what do you got for me here? I don't know what oh, is that a jellyfish? Wait, okay, I got a blue gun. Okay. You know what? It's better than nothing. Okay. It could be worse. Now I've heard that you can redo that every few rounds. So if that's true, maybe I can actually get good at bowling and maybe I'll maybe I'll get stuff to survive, you know? Right, that's it. Easy. All right, we got the safe open. That's good. I don't have any keys yet, but I will be getting them soon. You know, I've been so distracted. I totally forgot to sit here and do the, the vending machine. I'm just getting point. Normally, I get point. Okay, come, give me something good, man. Come on. Ooh, tomahawk. Do I want the tomahawk? See, I might want the tomahawk, but if I have the Semtexes, I can do the Semtex Easter egg. Screw it, man. Let's just, let's just keep the tomahawk. <laughs> All right, now let's hope that these crystals can give us some good free stuff so far it's pretty much just been salvage which is uh not good we don't give a damn about salvage a decoy i'm you know what it could be worse it could be worse Ooh, insta kill hey that's that's pretty good I'm just gonna knife you guys ow okay maybe we should just shoot them <laughs> maybe we shouldn't knife i also i forgot to say but uh i switched to energy mine this game i was running ether shroud last time and i kind of realized that if i can't buy anything i should probably use the field upgrade that lets me get kills chips really yeah i hear a mangler though mangler is good so we're gonna take this guy we're gonna bring him all the way up to the car and we're gonna get him to blow it up now, I could just, like, kill him and take his cannon, but there's a chance that when I shoot his cannon off, he doesn't drop it, and I really need what's in that car, so I'm not going to take the risk, and if I can avoid it, I'm just going to have him shoot it open instead. There you are. Shoot me. All right, let's just energy mine these guys to get them out of the way. Okay, come on. Mangler. Mangler. Shoot. 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 There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ow. <gasps> did it work? Did it work? What did I get? Something blue. Something blue. What is that? Ooh, it's a gun. Ooh, I got an LMG. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's better. So let's go ahead 
And let's shoot off his cannon. So I can try and steal it. Okay, he didn't drop it. Dang it. Oh, he dropped a mutant injection and a purple key. All right, let's call in our current kill streak because we need more with the new one. You guys can all die to that. I don't care about you guys. All right, Vault, what you got for me? Give me something good. Chopper Gunner. Chopper Gunner is actually good because I'm going to have to lose my mutant injection, I guess. But see, there's something I can do with a Chopper Gunner, which is shoot this little barrel down here. It's going to drop me a shovel and I can use that shovel to go ahead and dig up some graves and get me some extra loot. So I am OK with losing my mutant injection for that. You know, actually, there's a chance it's still in there. Oh, yeah, it is. Hey, there you go. I got it. I got it back. Unfortunately, I don't know of any way to get free perks on this map other than the safe. So we're just going to have to kind of hope that the safe There's our shovel. We're just going to kind of have to hope that the safe brings us something. Yeah, let's start digging up these graves. That's not what I want. Ooh, speak color cam. Look at that. Speak of the... Oh, my God. I just... Oh, my... What? I just died of the vermin. Are you see it? Good thing I don't have any perks. Oh, there's... I also dropped a shotgun. It's green, though. I think I'll probably stick to what I have. Okay, I may have lost my self revive, but I got speed pull up, which means it's instantly worth it. Who wins to kill? What you guys got for me? Nothing. What about you guys? I got four of you. Nothing? Oh, there is a gun. I already have that one, though. Okay. Ooh, Mangler. All right, let's kill you real quick. Anything good? Loot key. There we go. Exactly what we needed. Anything good? Just zombies. No. What about you? Just a zombie. There's like one more I didn't touch. I swear. Is it over here? There it is. Oh, what's that? Ooh, elements of pop. That's good. That's good. That's good. Wait, is that a gun? Oh, hold up. There's a gun over there. All right, guys. Let me just stun you guys. Hold up. Hold up, everybody. Oh, it's an MP5. It has a bigger ammo, though, so I guess I'll take it. Fuel upgrade? Okay, sure. That just saves us some ammo. And a tomahawk. But no, I still need some Texas. Ooh, green gun. Nope, can't take it. Okay, so that's all the stuff we got from there. So now I think we're basically really just relying on the, the bank. Ooh, purple. Okay, sure. There you go. We are on round 15, and I have gotten a blue gun and a purple gun and two perks with absolutely nothing purchased. You know, that's not bad, and we're going to get a ton more manglers pretty soon here, so I can only imagine that we're going to get even more stuff. Oh, crap. I didn't think about you. Uh-oh. Uh, is this going to be strong enough? I don't know. I did not think about him. I do have a mutant injection, which I'm thinking... Maybe we should use the mutant injection on the abomination. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to be honest. I don't have the patience to lose like all. Ooh, nuke. I don't have the patience to lose all of my ammo. I'm just going to sit here and punch this guy in the face till he dies. Goodbye. Dang, that nuke ended like the entire round instantly. I thought I thought there were more zombies in that. Marg would drop a key. It doesn't look like he did, unfortunate. I mean, dude, if I can get like a gold key... Oh, that, that would be so clutch. Let's just grab the, the tomahawk. Oh, well. Okay, I hear a mangler. There you are. Yep. Let's stick that in your face. Oh, 30 health, 30 health. Let's drop our decoy. Let's throw this in your face again. Come on. Please drop me a key. He dropped ammo. Oh, he didn't drop a key. A key, a key. I sound like a little, a little Mexican boy. <laughs> a key, a key. Here we go. Grenades are so clutch. I'm so glad they reworked them in Cold War and all the equipment and stuff. Honestly, that that's just like, that's how I'm going to win the game. I'm just going to sit here and blow people up. That's how it's going to be. All right, we're on 18 now, which is pretty cool. I have not gotten a key in quite a while. Uh, I'm going to start probably start dying soon if I don't have a key. No, no, don't don't die to vermin again. Don't die to vermin again. No, 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 I'm going to die. No. Dude, the little, the little, the little vermin crawler got me again. <laughs> 18 okay and that's it as you can see i literally only beat one of the eight maps we played today i guess i definitely need to brush up on my skills let me know down below how you guys would have done if you like this video click on this one right here also thanks for 2000 subs